Complete D Ladies Quarterfinals here at the 2023 CT1 WDF Lakeside World Championship. And we welcome back to the stage last year's Lakeside World Championship finalist, the reigning British Open champion from England, Kirsty Hutchinson! Welcome to the stage, the reigning Australian Darts Open champion, the four-time Lakeside World Champion, the Lancashire Rose, Lisa Ashton! The legendary Lisa Ashton is in the quarterfinals of this wonderful Lakeside Championship. She was put under plenty of pressure by Priscilla Steenbergen, the last of the 72 players in the men's and women's draw to take part in this year's tournament. She's had to make, had to take a watching brief for most of the week, but she got back into action last night. Steenbergen took the first set, but ultimately the quality and experience of Lisa Ashton shone through. Been a mixed few months for her. Elbow surgery means she's not being able to practice, not being able to get as much match practice as she would like heading into this tournament, which she is looking to win for a fifth time, and a first time since 2018. 53 years old now, but she's still got that appetite to play darts, winning in Australia earlier this year. The highlight of her year but Kirsty Hutchinson is someone who is no stranger to the lakeside stage reaching a final last year before ultimately losing out to Bo Greaves she is a big scorer and she will give Lisa some problems if she can tidy up the doubling Scott Mitchell is with me in the commentary position and Scott we both think that it's going to be a, a very tight game but I think you're backing Lisa because of her extra experience yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. But at the time, I didn't realise that Kirsty had won the throw. So that's that's kind of a big advantage. Um, Kirsty's been around an awful long time through the youth 59. movement, and she's been a friend of my daughter's for years. And she is starting to develop into 60. one classy player. Yeah, she's played a couple of games already on the stage. 41. Defeated Japan star Mayumi Uchi in round one. And then she improved her performance against the New Zealander debutant, beating a seeded player in Wendy Harper. Lisa Ashton has been there, seen it, won the T-shirt and four trophies. 100. Yeah, nobody likes a show-off, but everybody loves Lisa. That's what I will tell you. She's just a lovely, lovely lady. Been a friend of mine for a long time. The Lancashire Rose. 
headed across her shirt. We'll give a shout to our referee, Christian Sorensen. Fifth referee to take to the stage today, making his debut from Denmark. 60. He's slotted into the team very nicely. Yeah, our team are rested like an adolescent boy band, aren't they? 41. He's going to require 116. Something like that. 71. Slow start from Kirsty. Moving 156 after 18 darts. 38. On her own throw will be the worry. She's not got to get too frustrated. 13. Kirsty will require 118. Dribble 20. 94. Good Lisa last start there 32. from Hutchinson. 32 for Lisa. 24. This has always been the strong part of her game was the doubles 24. for Lisa. I said I thought that would be the difference yeah, at the start of the game. That will give Kirsty a little bit of... A G up. Yeah, I said slow start for Kirsty, but she won't care about that now because at least she's won the first leg. It was a dodgy start for Lisa against Priscilla Steenbergen last night, but unfortunately, the Dutch woman she was like a, an 800 meter runner who used up too much of her energy on the first lap. Lisa came roaring back. And I don't think it can be underestimated what a trailblazer Lisa has been in the women's game. First woman to win a, a tour card on the PDC. First woman to average over 100 on telly. She did that in the UK Open against Darren Beanie. Someone that plenty look up to. I'm guessing including Kirsty. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure you're right. Fifty-five. Like I say, you want to be playing your best when you win world championships. You want to stay in your pomp for as long as you can and try and take as many titles in that sort of period as you can. And, and Lisa managed to take four world titles while she was playing absolutely excellently. Kuru. 85. Suzuki had a couple of good runs here. Obviously, he was champion. Four different players she beat in those finals as well. Dieter Hedman, Fallon Sherrick, Corinne Hammond, and Anastasia Dobromislova. Need to make do with the runners up prize. But now it's Lisa under pressure. Percy would acquire 100. Couldn't slide that second dart under. 34. Lisa would acquire 96. Two for stabs at the cherry. That one way under. 71 to treble 17. 42. Kirsty would acquire 66. 46. Tops. 46. Lisa would acquire 54. So an early chance for Lisa to get back into the game. That's 12 left. Double six. 48. Not the plan to move right across the board. There's only one other place to throw that, and that was to hit it. So Hutchinson takes advantage again. Well, Hutchinson has 
flipped really from the first couple of games where it was a, a scoring was excellent, but she struggled on the doubles. Now she's clinical on the outer ring. Didn't quite get that one sat in her fingers correctly, so dropped it. Rightly swapped 59. over through the other one. Could have been an awful lot more, that. Lisa just not finding her range yet. 41. Well, to score 60 with your first dart and then come away with 62 must feel particularly annoying. 47. Yeah, when it happens to me, I feel like I could get more than two without flights in. <laughs> 100. 12. Check, these are the last scores, nine. Oops, a daisy. Never the big shots you get wrong, is it? Never the big scores that you get wrong. Well, because you never expect a player of Lisa Ashton's calibre to only find wow. nine. But this has been a real struggle for her. There are extenuating circumstances with her having a surgery recently. I don't know how comfortable she's feeling. And it's not looking good. Very lucky she didn't find the treble. At least she's having a chuckle to herself about it. 40. She has time, sorts it out. 96. First you require 40. Thinking there from Ashton. 90. Double ten is found, and Kirsty Hutchinson Kirstie takes Hutchinson. the first set against the four-time champion. The four-star Lisa Ashton wants a fifth star on her back, but it's been one star so far from the Lancashire Rose. Kirsty Hutchinson taking full advantage of an off-colour performance. And she leads going into the break by one set to nil. Yeah, we've got a very sizable conga going on in the crowd. Seemingly deciding to re-energise themselves during the break. That's something that Lisa Ashton needs to have done. As the boos ring round, and I think the conga is about to end. Back to your tables, everyone. Solid start from Kirsty Hutchinson. Without really finding a range on the treble 20, she has not been put under enough pressure by Lisa Ashton. Three from five on the doubles for the Durham thrower. 100. The Lancashire Rose needs to blossom into life. It's a really costly first leg for Lisa Ashton, missing five darts at doubles. 81. The 16s and 8s proving troublesome. But she is a player made of tough, tough, tough stuff. 120. More misfortune with the bounce out. She does use quite bulbous barrels, does Lisa. We're probably a bit more prone to, to bounce outs. 36. Usual skinny setup from Kirsty. But Scott, Lisa Ashton has got a work cut out because Kirsty Hutchinson is looking good on the outer ring and Lisa just hasn't found any sort of rhythm. No, absolutely, and and it's most unlike her, 100. but we, we've got to remember, you know, you're not going to give too much away in the back room about how your elbow is and how much practice you've 100. been able to get. Um, and she, she just looks a bit rusty. She, she played in the ADC Women's Series uh, finals the other day at 
Uh, the Modus Lies Lounge, and she lost in the semi final that day to Dieter. Yeah, it was a, at least match practice for her. Something she can take. And she's made a pretty good start to this first leg after the break. 100. Lisa, you require 40. Game Tidies up tops leg. and she's on Lisa the board. Ashton. That's more Second like Lisa attacking the double. Rather than throwing and hoping, she attacked that double. Much better from her. She's also one of those. That she used to. She, she stands back from the hockey. She stands a couple of inches back from the hockey from eight foot. And the story goes, she used to play darts Imagine with her brothers that. in the bedroom, and their board was up behind a, a, a bunk bed that was eight foot, <laughs> so they could only stand at eight foot and throw. And so she continued to do that for the rest of her career. She has. Wow. I don't know whether having an arm operation has, has changed any of that. So that's why she's looking down and checking her step, basically. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. She always does it. Puts her foot to the hockey and then slides it back a couple of inches and then she throws her eight foot and that's where she feels comfortable. Oh, show off, Lisa Ashton. Is seven foot line not long enough? Or seven foot nine and a half, is it? Should, well, obviously... we know this. Yeah, yes. 41. Seven foot nine and three quarters, I believe it is. My phone will go mad now if that's wrong. 135. Eileen de Graaf is waiting for one of these players for a semi final clash tomorrow. 130. Left herself on a bogey, Kirsty Hutchinson, but tidied it nicely. 32. Okay. Well, that excellent leg from Lisa Ashton seems to have breathed extra life into Kirsty Hutchinson. Best leg of the match. 16 darter. 60. Not yet seen any of the women's quarterfinals go to three sets. Rihanna O'Sullivan kicked off this afternoon with a, a very authoritative win over Dieter Hedman. Bo Greaves did Bo Greaves things against Paula Murphy. Eileen de Graaf, the aforementioned Dutch woman, was too strong for Lorraine Wynne Stanley. One thing we've got to give Kirsty Hutchinson credit for is that she's actually scoring enough to keep Lisa under immense pressure, and she's at it again. 140. 60. And to a big finish after nine darts. She has, but you've got to give credit where it's due. She's worked hard on the Ashton throw to turn it round. Ashton trying to hit the 25 there, so it left herself 80, so it was two big numbers and a, a double. Sixty-two left, Kirsty. 49. Back to the ball. 51. The first dart was in perfect position as well as she could have glanced two. off it. Not to be now. Hutchinson, we know how good she's been on these doubles. Double 10. 42. Lisa, Not particularly close. 
Neither were those three. Has to split. Chipping the score down to the lowest possible double. Austin in the same problem here. 16. Chasing round after that double. Both women shaking their head. <laughs> nice bit of camaraderie there between the two of them. And now it's concentration again and head on. When you're going for double one, you want to make sure you're up with the first dart. You don't want to be going inside and carrying two darts to the ball to retrieve the first. You want to make sure you use them all. Lisa's got to adjust right across. Oh, what a lot. What a dart. Usually when you have to make that much distance and cut across the hockey, it makes it an even more difficult dart. It's further away. 45. Maybe Lisa liked that because she likes chucking from yeah. further away, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that could be a challenge for it. Right from nine feet, then ten. Probably still be good. Eighty-one. Kirsty Hutchinson has never beaten Lisa Ashton before. Played each other four times and Lisa's triumphed. One of them was in the WDF and it was a 4-0 win for the Lancashire Rose. of the game belongs to Lisa Ashton. And it would suggest she's starting to find her range. She's still got work to do here. That was a bit of a deflection off the flight there. The well-thrown dart, you can see it catch the other flight. She will be back for that tops and a chance to level it up in one all in sets. 60. Lisa requires 40. 30. Percy, you require 87. This is usually her strong point. First dart's a beauty. If there's a good miss, it's that one. 32. 71. Lisa, you require 10. I think we can see what she thought of that. Yeah, real snatch of the darts out the board. Five. Percy, you require 16. 16. Can she use those darts? Eight. No. Lisa, you five. Awkward finish for Ashton. Oh, she's bust. The darting cardinal sin. No mistake from Kirsty Hutchinson. Only a hold of throw, but she prolongs the agony for Ashton. 
Yeah, and of course, Lisa knows she had lots of goes at that one. 83. And it's how she reacts now in these first sort of nine darts here. One hundred. The momentum is all with Hutchinson now. One hundred eighty. Nicely done by Lisa Ashton. Twenty-eight. And that one big throw has swung momentum back in her favour. Oh, she's going to do it again. One hundred and forty. Throwing a little quicker, a little harder. Maybe that's what we need from her on the doubles. 45. Needs to require 98. Kirsty's faltering. Lisa splits. Game shot the second set. 12 data. I think that showed there that she had angry with herself that she'd let the last leg go. <laughs> right down the barrel of our camera. Perfect. So, obviously, no break. We go straight back round, and Hutchinson has the darts in this set. 60. One hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, she's really flinging them in there now. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Definitely found her range now, Dan. Absolutely. This is right game on now. This is best of five. 100. The signs are ominous for last year's finalist. 55. 60. Just about to say needs a treble to get away. 99. That's exactly what she does. 100. Hutchinson comes straight back at it. Nicely done by Kirsty. Successive set. legs in 26 darts. Second leg to Lisa to throw first. Game on. She has completely transformed, transformed her performance. 85. I did see in our break, I thought that the timing of the break came perfectly for Lisa. It's a chance to get back out, out the back. 45. Have a chat with people that know her best. Settle her mind. 60. 121. Christian just taking a closer inspection. Sometimes with the way that darts light can be 100. tough to see at first glance. We didn't want VAR involved, do we? Absolutely not. The powers that be, please, please, please don't entertain the prospect. Forty-five. One of those moments where we don't need to add anything. You know exactly what's going through Kirsty's mind. We've seen a couple of those moments in this match. Should be thinking, why now? Spirited from Kirsty. 
but quality from Lisa Ashton. Super classy 90 from Lisa Ashton, the four-time world champion. Third leg, it's Kirsty to throw first. Game on. Kirsty Hutchinson now has to win three straight legs. One hundred. Any trebleless visit right now, Lisa will punish. So it's a good job that Kirsty hit the treble with the last dart. 26. <laughs> and then she hits 26. Yeah, commentator's curse, but a big O there from Lisa as she did it. So she wasn't too concerned. It was a smiley O. 100. If there is such a thing, there is now. Yeah. We've just invented it. Well, Lisa invented 41. it. First year of the choir, 141. Takes off the one. Yeah, good last from Kirsty Hutchinson there. Squeeze that one over the top. 63. First year requires 60. Plenty of room for tops. All the room for tens. And there it goes. Bo Greaves stayed on and watching there. 13. No sooner as Kirsty Hutchinson won the leg, Lisa has applied the pressure once more with her throw of 140. 95. Now 95, 266 for Lisa. 222 ahead before these. 45. And two savage visits from Kirsty means that Lisa is slowly walking towards victory. 100. 95. It would mark two straight games where she's had to make a comeback from one set down. 57. She is a proven winner. Lisa require 113. 111 now, Lisa. 22. Don't need our referee to work that out, did we? Maybe she's not ready yet to depart. Maybe she just fancies throwing some more. No, she'll want the job done as quickly as possible. Hutchinson now down on a finish. This is the way she does it. 58 left. 58 left, yep. Yeah. 41. Just how loud will Kirsty Hutchinson scream if she manages to land this? We'll never know. She so still wants to leave it handy. Just in case. And that is exactly what she does. And it's exerted pressure to the shot as well. Double ten. Thirty. And that's exactly what it did. Takes her time, just has a second look. 
32. Lisa Uruguay at 10. Head in hands for Kirsty Hutchinson. Oh, wow. Let's go. Kirsty Uruguay at 14. Single three for double two. Twelve. Your heart is racing in those moments. The blood is rushing around your body. The adrenaline makes you throw harder. No Lisa does the copy. same again. Percy, you're required to. One up. It's nerve wracking watching them. Lisa, you require 10. Double two. Eight. And on we go. Percy, you require two. Here's Rog, Lisa's manager. He's nervous. She's nervous. Kirsty's nervous. And daughter Danielle. So sure Lindsay's watching at home as well. No score. Lisa, you if you don't today. laugh, you'll cry. Time to believe. Somebody's got to believe. I now make that 12 missed starts for Lisa Ashton. And I think eight for Kirsty. Make that nine. No score. Lisa, you required two. Game. Lisa Ashton Go. finally Go. ends the marathon Lisa last Ashton. leg. Devastation for Kirsty Hutchinson. It was such a nervy, nervy ending. But Lisa Ashton finally shows what she's made of. She can barely celebrate because she knows it's not the way that any player wants to win a darts match. Kirsty Hutchinson will not repeat her final showing last year. Lisa Ashton is still in this. She is a four-time champion and she is hoping to become a five-time champion to get that extra star on the back of her shirt. Lisa Ashton beats Kirsty Hutchinson 2-1. Coming up after the break, we have got our final match of the evening session. The final quarter-final between Yella Klassen and Danny Lorby.